to go. Bear! Bear! Run, you stupid piece of shit! Where the hell did you go? Bear, run you stupid piece of shit!
keep ringing this bell for you to follow. You're no roach, but I bet we can be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the pillar for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kind of Anna and Tamara. They might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Do. mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps, or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is. And he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you. You must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. to the child. 
in a grave throne, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf, wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. White Wolf, what? Could use a few potion and... So long. Move it! strike. Faster. Oswin? Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. My brother's in the stable! Somebody ought to see to the Baron. Where do I know you from, eh? Ah, 
Right, the Witcher! Come, drink with me! Pale as a ghost you are. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? They ran from you, didn't they? Lying thick! Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! 
I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. <laughs> Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Take it in your arms. 
goes. Quick. If it goes gallop. Keep screaming and it will turn bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your door. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Back to the fortress. With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, 